Greetings and welcome to our daily walk through the scriptures. Now, normally I would give you what we're doing on March the 25th, but given that this is the week of Easter, I think it was appropriate that we pause that, or, well, let me rephrase that, that we we continue our readings, so continue to read your Bibles and continue to read your daily readings, but instead of sending you uh, those thoughts, I think it's appropriate to talk about Easter and what happens during the week of Easter, because sometimes there can be some confusion as to what exactly is going on, what exactly did Jesus do during the week of Easter. And so here we are on the Monday of Holy Week. Now, here's some interesting things that you should know about. One, we know that Jesus was doing this on this week. Okay, what I mean by that is that uh, Easter is always set based on lunar calendar. So we know exactly when Easter fell. So whereas Christmas time, we celebrate the memory of Jesus in Christmas, we don't know exactly when Jesus was born. Some scholars debate he was born in the summer, you know, so on and so forth. We know for a fact that during the week of Easter, what we celebrate as Easter, Resurrection Sunday, is when Jesus did all of these things. So the timing of this is very powerful and, and has potential to have great impact if you allow it. So with that being said, uh, today, your readings, if you want to follow along in Easter, come in Matthew chapter 21. Uh, they come in Mark chapter 11 and Luke chapter 19. Now, for uh, for Matthew chapter 21, you read the triumphant entry, uh, hopefully, and then in verse 12, we see that Jesus is at the temple and he enters the temple. Now, the way that Matthew puts it, it makes it sound like Jesus went straight into the temple on uh, Palm Sunday and went and drove out. However, Mark and Luke give us a little bit of a different look to it. They tell us that it happens on Monday. So today is the day that Jesus goes to the temple and he drives out the money changers and he talks about how this is a this is made this is a den of robbers. This was supposed to be made for my uh, the house of prayer for all nations, but you have turned it into a den of robbers. Uh, but there's a couple of other things that I want to point out that happen uh, either on Monday or just before Monday, okay? And and one of them actually is in Luke as Jesus on Palm Sunday comes in. They're very powerful um, statement Christ make Christ makes in Luke uh, chapter uh, 19 verse 41. It says as he, as he approached Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it. Now you say, well, well, Jesus wept because he knew what was coming. He did, but if you read his words, you recognize that his sorrow was far deeper than that. It was his sorrow was for the people. If you had even you had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but now it's hidden from your eyes. The days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment against you and encircle you and hem you on every side. They will dash you to the ground, you and the children within the walls. They will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of God's coming to you. So Jesus is prophesying, and he's actually going to do it a little bit more this during this week on Tuesday. Uh, but Jesus is prophesying what's going to happen to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is going to be sacked. Uh, the temple is going to be destroyed a few years later. And so Jesus is prophesying that. So then on his way into town in Mark chapter 11, he passes a fig tree as Jesus was leaving Bethany. Now, Jesus did not spend his nights in Jerusalem. He spent them in Bethany, which is only a few miles outside of Jerusalem. So they would walk. They were used to walking. And so as they were on their way into big into Bethany, he came across a fig tree with leaf. Now, when you see a fig tree and leaf, Typically, what that meant back then was that it was it had fruit. It would bear fruit. But when Jesus walked up to it, he realized that it had leaf, but no fruit. Now, this is an important scene because it is a symbolic scene. You see, scholars believe that these referencing the people of Israel. See, Israel was oftentimes equated as a fig tree, as different plants, and as a fig tree. And what Jesus was saying here is that this was a fig tree that looked healthy, but in reality was not. And so Jesus then said in verse 14, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard them say yes. And then they went into the temple and they tossed it. Jesus tossed the tables. He did all these things. Now, a lot of times people will, um, you know, argue, well, this is why Jesus is so passionate. Yes, Jesus is very passionate, but Jesus didn't always turn over tables. In fact, this is really one of the only instances we see Jesus showing this side of his justice. Most often he shows mercy. He shows compassion and he shows grace. As a matter of fact, that's what he's going to show the rest of this 
of this time of this Holy Week. So then evening came, Jesus and the disciples went out to the city. Okay, so that's what happened on Monday. Tomorrow we'll get into Tuesday.